On a recent trip, I had a chance to hear about the need of children that are sleeping in a community every morning without a bed. And as a father, a grandfather, it touched my heart. When you walk into some of these homes, you realize that these kids have nothing. No bedding, sometimes no food, and then we expect them to go perform in school and things like that. We recently had a situation where we had to throw all our beds away because of a bed bug infestation, so they came and sprayed after we threw the beds away. So they all, we, we got a new bed, but we only had enough money to get one bed. So they all had to sleep in the same bed. So you have to think about like six kids sleeping in one bed, you know, every night for like the last five or six months, you know, so. We started talking about the need, and I said, it's a need that is, it's massive. It's not just here locally, it's across the country. So as a YMCA movement, I thought we could do something about it. We're pretty good at organizing volunteers. We're pretty good at raising funds for a project like this, and I thought we could make a dent. The vision for A Place to Dream is that we're going to provide beds for children that don't have beds in our community been very successful in that every time we go out we're delivering between 30 to 50 beds for these children. We've been staying out here a long time. We need some new beds and I am so thankful. to see this big old smile on my face? I am happy. Feels so comfortable. Feels so comfortable. Thank you so much. Thank you. It means a whole lot to us. We're grateful for the bed. I think it will change how she feels every day by getting good rest in the bed. This new bed means the world to her because she's going to have lots more space to invite her friends and enjoy herself. Well, we wouldn't even have the money to come up with the bed, so we're thankful to get brand new beds. It's an extreme blessing, you know. It, it's just very difficult to buy all these beds at one time with the income that we have, you know what I'm saying? So I really do appreciate it, man. Thank you! The partners are so critical to doing an effort like this. First and foremost is the housing authority that is identifying the families that have the greatest need. So that partnership's important. We've got Merit Flooring that's helping us to uh, storing the beds, delivering the beds, and providing manpower to help set those beds up. Uh, we got Badcock Furniture that gave us a great price on the beds. The Sheriff Department showed up in force today to help out with this effort. And then just all the people that have donated time and money and of course our Y staff that always have a, a heart for kids and showed up today to kind of help. We're helping kids who are right here, kids that we, our kids go to school with, kids that are in our churches, kids whose moms work at our grocery stores or work at our banks. These are people that we see every day. It's amazing to see a child that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten years old that's never had a bed before be told this is your bed. How exciting is that? And watching the joy on their face when they climb in that bed for the first time, there's just nothing like it. So I would encourage YMCA's around the country to take a look at this. I have a feeling it's a local need that you have also. And if you'll make the phone calls and start to dig, I think you'll find out it's something that you can make a dent in. And I would encourage you to, to do just that. And hopefully throughout our movement around the United States, we can provide these children a bed and a proper place to sleep.